You suck. Like you suck, Google. Triple six, Google. Weavile. 
His move pool is very similar to Mewtwo's. He can learn pretty much any move that Mewtwo can in combination with some devastating dark type moves. Also, Darkrai is the only, I repeat, only Pokemon with the ability Bad Dreams. This ability drains the health of any sleeping Pokemon on the battlefield. That's awesome! If a Darkrai manages to put you asleep, you are absolutely screwed! Lastly, the main reason why I came to love Darkrai so much. It was his role in the 10th movie, The Rise of Darkrai. Throughout the movie, Darkrai was labeled as an evil Pokemon by all the denizens of Alamos Town. Even though Darkrai meant no harm to anyone whatsoever. In the past, a lone Darkrai stumbled into Alamos Town's garden in a gravely injured state. His injuries were probably caused by Pokemon who thought that he was a threat. Alice's grandmother, Alicia, saw what happened to Darkrai and decided to help the poor thing. She then healed his soul with a beautiful melody called Aracion and welcomed Darkrai into the garden. Years later, that same Darkrai was still living in the same garden and still receiving hate from the inhabitants of Alamos Town. When Dialga and Palkia start fighting in close proximity to the town, the dimensions were becoming so constrained that the entire fabric of space and time were starting to disintegrate. Fearing that he would lose his beloved home and his only friend, Darkrai protected Alamos Town with his life. He attempted to stop both creation deities from decimating pretty much all of existence. As the fight goes on, both Dialga and Palkia start to gang up on Darkrai. He fought all he could, but not even the strongest Pokemon can survive both Roar of Time and Spatial Rent, especially at the same time. To the viewer's dismay, Darkrai's body ends up getting destroyed by the enormous blast. Let me get this straight. Darkrai, a Pokemon that was appalled by the entire town, risked his life for all those who lived there. That, to me, shows just how deep of a Pokemon Darkrai is. He is the definitive proof that Pokemon can possess feelings, integrity, and even human spirit, regardless of how people feel about it. And that is why Darkrai is my favorite Pokemon of all time. It's not because he's a legendary. It's because of how well they show the emotional aspects of Darkrai, rather than just his power. Some of you might think what I'm saying is beyond corny, but this is no exaggeration. I truly feel this way. Some people believe that Pokemon is not supposed to be deep in any sense. But after seeing Darkrai's tragic and beautiful story of desperation, I honestly don't see why not. Darkrai's actions are unlike any character I've ever seen. And this applies to all media. Not only did he change my outlook on Pokemon, but he also changed my outlook on life itself. I'm serious, he means an awful lot to me. He showed me that even something commonly seen as nothing more than a fighting tool can in fact be a beautifully deep and wondrous piece of writing. And that is something no other Pokemon or figure can ever replicate. He's original, he's powerful, and unfathomably memorable for his nightmare abilities and all his valiant deeds. I am Fawful's Minion, and Darkrai is by far my favorite Pokemon ever. He's more than a Pokemon. He's a hero. He's my hero.